Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do a quick update to a couple of videos I just recently posted. And this is basically how to jump between the Unreal Editor for Fortnite and the Fortnite Creative Mode. And there was a setting you need to disable. And if you don't, it's going to cause a lot of problems. And that's the problem that I was having because it was putting me into the game and I didn't want to go into the game. So I'm going to show you how to really basically jump between the editor and creative mode. And what I've got out of this now is that basically you can use creative mode as much as you can use the editor to build your game. At first I was thinking you want to use the editor, but actually you can use creative mode and creative mode might even be faster in some cases, depending on how well you are familiar with the creative mode interface. So anyway, to start this, we're just going to go into the library and then there's our Unreal Editor and we'll go ahead and open it up and it just takes a minute to do that. For some reason it comes in in the smaller window to start. So this is a little tricky at first to understand and then once you get your mind around this part of it and navigating basically the tabs between the editor and creative mode, things will really start clicking into place. So again, this splash screen comes up quite often and we can just close that. And then to start this, we're just gonna create a blank project this is very similar to the templates they have in Unreal Engine. And we'll just go create. And so that just takes a minute to do. And all we're going to do here is just load in some assets so we can see that we've our changes are coming into play here. Okay, so I'm just going to come down here to Fortnite. And there's some environment, landscapes, assets down here. Let's see what we got. Galleries, meshes devices. Let's see. The prefabs are so much down here. Furniture. So let's just see what we got here. I guess we can't. Oh, so we just brought in a ton of stuff at once. Okay. So this is amazing, right? Okay. So let's just say that's what our, we're starting our build. <laughs> oh my God. They have those uh, Stonehenge kind of things. So this is incredible. So this is really changing my thinking about game development because if you can build a game within the Fortnite framework, it might be faster than any other way just because you have so much assets already pre-built for you and so much functionality. So anywho, we'll leave it like this. Now here's the setting. If we come up here to where it says launch session, click by default, this is set to auto start game and you want to disable that. That's the problem I was having because when I would start the launch the session, it would put me right into game mode and there was really nothing I could do in that. I didn't want to be in the game mode. So you just need to disable that. And then we'll go ahead and launch the session. And we can save the selected. That'll just take a minute. And so what it's doing right now is it's it's uploading this level to the Fortnite server. So it's creating everything I put here is going to it's being uploaded onto the Fortnite server. And then it's going to open up a, an instance of Fortnite. Now, I want you to keep your eyes on this tab down here. So these two tabs, because this is a good way to navigate. Right here, the U is the editor and the F is the, the Fortnite instance. So you see when I hover over it, it's showing this. And it's still uploading the this level. So it takes a while for it to connect. I don't know why it, what it says here. It says easy. So now we're actually connecting and then it goes full screen on us and it just takes a minute for this. So I guess what I've got out of this is that the transition between the editor and Fortnite is, is not as bad as I thought it was, but, but there's still definitely some lag time between the two. So at least in this initial phase of connecting. So now it's loading, it's still loading our editing session. So this part hasn't changed. Okay. And it's still connecting. So now it's basically opening up an edit session where I can jump between the editor and Fortnite creative. So we're just still waiting for that to happen. And so basically we won't really be playing the game at all. We're just going to be jumping between the editor and creative mode. And to be completely honest with you, I really didn't have any experience with Fortnite creative mode, which is what we're in right now. So as you can see, here's the tricky part. Yes. Okay. So we're in Fortnite creative mode, which is its own little world. And it has its own unique way of world building here in creative mode. And she's got that her phone that she uses. And if you hit tab, you'll see it jumps us into creative mode. And we have all these worlds that we can 
build like just instantaneously so we can just start I'm hitting my left mouse button here and and I right mouse button to stop and I just keep on going so you can actually build a world just as fast in creative mode as you can in the editor so I was mistaken about saying otherwise so if I hit tab again this puts us into creative mode and these are slappy shores and the houses I can open have all these assets again that we can bring in and like I said you just left mouse button and I mean that's what I'm saying the speed at which you could create an environment is it's pretty insane and then right mouse button and look at that look how fast we built these assets it's crazy right it's absolutely crazy so anyway so now if I hit escape I can actually start the game if I wanted, but I don't want to start the game, so I'll right click out here. Okay, so here's the trick. If you hit escape and you come up to the very top, you'll see your window, and here you can resize it and bring it down. And now at this point, you can jump between the editor and your tab down here. You see that? So you can literally jump between the two this way. So that was the problem I was having. So when you're working this, just get control of your window size and then here you know we can jump back into creative mode and tab out so that's basically all I had so once you got this part down you you basically can easily jump between the two modes so escape and then tab and then you want to go back in click there and you're in and then escape and come up here to the top to gain control of your interface. You can make it full screen and then escape again to get out of it and get back into your editor. And if you have live update selected, so here it's a yellow bar. That means that there's changes so I can push those changes through. And then they're, they're basically synced, you know, between the local computer and the server and the creative mode everything syncs up so it basically syncing everything up right now so it's pretty amazing once you get around this so this is really changing the way i'm thinking about game development in total so this could actually be the best way to go time will tell so anyway i hope you found this helpful take care and have a great day